Hey, we're the six, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead and take some stamina up. Thank you very much. Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, was it good? Now you gotta understand, look here, all right? I was part of the COD boycott. Remember that? And look, I'm probably cracking on Black Ops 6. And by the way, if I get to a thousand subs, I have to buy the game. And look, I want you to understand, I was watching from the sidelines, but I actually had a very good time. There are certain things about that game that I just love and have to go back and watch all the time. First, I'd say we go ahead and understand what Modern Warfare 3 Zombies was. So let's start with who was it for? Take an Ethereum Crystal, thank you very much. I think it was for Warzone players as well as some Outbreak players, and you may ask yourself, why the hell would you say that? It's pretty obvious. What a lot of people didn't like about the mode is that it pretty much played like Warzone, but just with zombie AI. And that was also some of the complaints coming from Outbreak. I think what Call of Duty said is, look, they're not gonna go crazy on round based, right? Cause it's not a full Treyarch game. They wanna put a third mode in there, but they don't want it to be survival or spec ops. And they realized they had a kind of a good deal with Outbreak. They thought, look, if we carry over those ideas and kind of get some people some zombie storyline information for this season, still taking place in the Dark Aether, I thought that was cool. I like that they stuck with the same story even though it was like Vanguard, pre-dark, current Dark Aether story. And then he had Modern Warfare 3, which we thought, oh, it takes place in the future. You know, now we pretty much know the ending to Black Ops 6, right? It's, you know, it's not gonna work or whatever. There's still the entity. I have a very good point on that. I believe that by Ava Jansen, spoiler alert for the ending cutscene, you've probably seen it anyway. I think Ava Jansen goes back to Liberty Falls and she's the one that actually causes the outbreak in the first place. So I think, yeah, we're playing with the same Dark Ether storyline, but who knows if they're from the same realm, you dig? And that Loki brings me to my next point. Look, the story was kind of cool. And I think this one was actually pre-planned and developed more than Vanguard Zombies because look, or maybe they learned from their mistakes. It's like, let's make all the cutscenes first before we actually build the in-game stuff because we don't want fans to be underwhelmed with where the story's at, where the mode's at, you know, getting the final cutscene at the end of each Easter egg, you know, it should feel rewarding. We're getting that big piece of story info. Very good on that part. You know, a lot of people at first were speculating, look, we're gonna get it on a Sheikah Island. We're gonna get it on Vondel, which would have been sick. Amsterdam zombies, are you kidding me? Turns out it all took place on Los Alamos, right? Or was it some other place? I, I can't really remember Los Alamos. Uh, oh, Almazra. I think that's what it was, right? Lost, uh, whatever. Such similar maps, right? It's just a giant desert every time. That's fine, besides the point. Which wasn't bad. If that was a plan from the start, honestly, stick to one if it's gonna be good. It, it would have been like a crazy weird experience, to be honest with you, if you like took one map off, right? We'd have to have like 500 gigabytes on our console just for those extra maps, especially if you wanna play them in a row, which us Zombies players love to do. Updates, fine. We didn't get too many, right? It was like season and a half, like we got some of the launch and then reloaded, and those were okay, right? It, it wasn't super exciting to watch, but I'm sure to play and to like grind and know you had something to go do, it's pretty fun. The thing I love the most, not gonna lie, the soundtrack. They didn't have to include round start themes. They really didn't. Take an Ethereum crystal. It's when you complete a contract and I think it becomes more corrupt. Like there's so many different round start themes put in there. It becomes more corrupt as you go deeper into the to the harder zones. I love that. You gotta hear it. I think they're great. And they kind of match the time period if you think about it. This one too, one of my faves. I mean, absolutely magnificent. Also, they added this to the x theme. Take a listen. Right? And I don't think people really understand what that is. You see, I did a bit of digging around and I figured out that does sound like the undertones, right? The notes or whatever the hell you call them underneath the original damned theme song. So what did I do? I added the piano on top and it sounds perfect. Take a listen. See? It's just so cool what they add. I love that. Little little subtle Easter eggs, whether it be music. And I mean, the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies theme, the damn theme, right? Which actually was not Kevin Sherwood. I'm not sure who it was. Sounded cool as well. It was kind of a deviation from the normal, like, structure of the damn theme, right? But uh, I think it was perfect for what the mode was. I think it accurately represented what the mode was. Do you think we'll ever have that zombie system again? I'm not talking about, like, the way they move and everything, but, like, you know, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies as a whole. Do you think we'll get a big map in the future? 
I think we will, but you know what? I think we're gonna get it again. Let's say maybe in COD 2025, right? May not be the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies like thing though. It may just be Outbreak 2. What would you like better? Let me know down in the comments below. Outbreak 2 or Modern Warfare 3 Zombies 2? Something like that, right? Let me know down in the comments. You know I always love continuing the conversation. If you haven't already, sub to this channel, guys. I'd appreciate it. We're almost to a thousand subs, my god. That means I get to buy Black Ops 6. Anyway, y'all, I'm over the moon into the ether. Let's hit that box. <laughs> Raygun. Perfect. Hey, come on. You got us up now, right? Guys, I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you and your support. Thank you.